Yeah. Cool kid sneak. Yeah. Uh, she a couple, 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 couple years younger, but she better than a motherfucker. Ass fatter than a motherfucker. Uh, Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this hairstyle. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I clip in my curly clippings. I hope you guys like this tutorial, and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by telling you guys why my hair is like this right now. These little balls right here is a stretching method that I got from Nappy Danny. So I'll link her video down below so you guys can go watch her video to see how I stretch my hair like this. And the back of my head, I felt like my wash and go was getting a little too old and my curls weren't curly anymore. So I just put some twist in my hair so that my curls can be popping for today. I forgot to mention, but when I twist the back of my hair up last night, I took my little these little clamp things whatever these are and I took my twist like this and I just clamped my hair down to make sure the curls stay stretched the products that I use in my hair is this conditioner to co-wash my hair and I use it to style my hair and I really love this conditioner because I feel like it's making my hair thicker is not giving my hair a lot of thickness because if you guys watch my channel you guys know that I feel like my hair is thin so I feel like this conditioner is making my hair thicker and I love the smell of this conditioner so if you guys see this conditioner in your Walmart or CVS I got mine from CVS just go ahead and pick it up and try it out because I really like this conditioner the other products that I used in my hair for this whatever this is supposed to be <laughs> is this curls cream brulee and I use this to kind of moisturize my hair so that I won't have to put a lot of water in it and that brings me to my water. I use water in my hair as well to help me get through my hair so it won't snag so much. I sometimes use this Curls Goddess Botanical Gel or Jelly and I really like this but I'm running out so I haven't been using it but this is a really really good styler especially if you want your curls to be really defined. Like this is where it's at. It's not going to moisturize your hair, it's just a good styler to make your curls pop so yeah that's all the products that I use in my hair I don't wash my hair with shampoo the only time I wash my hair with shampoo is when I am going to straighten my hair and that doesn't happen very often and if I feel like my hair is gunky and it's not getting clean with my co-washing conditioner then I'll use shampoo to actually clean my hair like get all the gunk out but most of the time I just use conditioner um, and co-wash my hair. I go through conditioner like it's nothing but shampoo I still have the same shampoo that I've had since like January so yeah I don't really use a lot of shampoo okay so now that you guys know what I put in my hair I'm gonna go ahead and start with the styling I know I had a question in my comments um she was like I know this might be a weird question but do you lay down your baby hairs before you do your makeup or after it kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day I know sometimes when I do lay down my baby hairs after I do my makeup my makeup tends to move but then when my gel dries, the makeup looks like I never touched it. So sometimes I do my baby hairs before I do my makeup and sometimes I do it after. It just depends. Okay, so I'm going to start with the front of my head first and then I'll move to the back. So all I'm doing here is taking out that bobby pin and unraveling that twist. I did notice that my hair was still damped from the night before. So I recommend not using a lot of product and water in your hair because it's not going to dry fully for you to style your hair in the morning. Now I'm going to take my rat tail comb and straighten up that part. I'm not really going to worry about the back of my parts being really straight because my hair is just going to cover that so there's no need to part my hair in the back. Okay so now I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to set it on the highest setting and then I'm going to press that little nozzle that makes the air cold and blow my hair with that because I don't want hot heat blowing on my hair. I just need it to be lukewarm to keep my hair stretched and dry it. Now I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel and just rake it through the perimeter of my hair and along my part so that everything is laying down flat. Now I'm just smoothing everything in with my fingers and then I'm going to take my brush and smooth my edges up into a ponytail and then before I put my ponytail up I'm going to brush down my baby hairs so that they won't be stuck in a sleek ponytail. Okay so now I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up in a ponytail. I'm going to wrap it around probably four or five times to make sure this ponytail stays sleek. 
And then when I get to the last wrap around, I'm not gonna pull my hair all the way through the bow. I'm gonna let some of the hair stay. And it's gonna make this cute little bun. I don't know how to describe it to you guys, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do the other side. Okay, now I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel to gel down my baby hairs. A lot of you guys always ask me what I use to lay down my baby hairs, and it's always Eco Styler Gel. Sometimes I'll probably use a conditioner to lay down my baby hairs, but most of the time it's this Eco Styler Gel. And it just works for me. I know some people said it flakes on them, but for me it doesn't flake at all. So I guess it just depends on the person. Um, I did plan on showing you guys how I did my baby hairs in this video. But as you guys can see, I was definitely out of frame. So I guess I'm going to have to make a whole nother video for my baby hairs or just include it in another hair tutorial. Man, I really thought my baby hairs was going to be in this video, but <laughs> I guess I couldn't win. Alright, so now that my baby hairs are done, I'm going to go back and fluff out my little puff balls and make sure they look similar on each side. I don't want my head to look lopsided, so yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to unravel my twist and I'm going to twist it in the opposite direction and that's how I'm going to loose them out. Um, I don't really care about frizz too much because frizz makes my hair appear thicker than what it really is. I still want my curls to look somewhat defined, but then again, I still want that frizz to make my hair appear more thicker. So if you guys don't want too much frizz, I recommend um, taking out your twist with some oil on your hands and using a pick to kind of pick up your roots instead of fluffing them out and separating your hair and combing through your hair with your hands, which is what I'm going to do. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how I clip in my curly clip-ins. Okay, so I'm going to part the lower half section of my hair. As you guys can see, my parting is very um, carefree. And I really don't care about the part because nobody's going to see the part. It doesn't really matter. So now I'm just going to part the side of my head. And it's probably about two inches above the first clip-in weft that I put down. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter where you place them. I just feel like... Just place them anywhere you feel like you want more thickness or you want more length. Just make sure no one can tell that they're clip-ins. Make sure they're not exposed and make sure they're blending in well with your hair and then you will be fine. No one will ever know that you have clip-ins in. See, it looks just like my hair, just a little thicker. <laughs> if you guys are interested in getting these clip-ins, I'll link all the information down below. And I did do a review video on these curly clip-ins, so I'm gonna link that video down below for you guys as well. Okay, for the last clip-in weft that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna take my three clip-in weft and place this right on the crown of my head, right below the parting of my puff balls. Okay, so once I feel like my clip-in is down and secured, I'm going to go ahead and flip my hair back over. Um, right here, I did pat the side of my head because I felt like the right side needed more thickness, which is why I just took the clip-in out and moved it over to the right. You guys, it's left. So, you know, I just did the same thing and then flipped my hair back over. No biggie. Just make sure you like the way your clip-ins look. 
Okay, so now that the bottom half of my hair is done, I'm gonna go ahead and shake my hair up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go in and separate some pieces and pull some curls to the other side because some of these curls are just sticking out. So I'm going to mold my hair how I want it to look. So yeah, this is basically how I got this style, you guys. Um, this is a really simple and easy style to do. You can do it on your natural hair, whether it's curly or straight. You can do this on straight hair. The options are actually endless when it comes to the styles. I've worn this hairstyle on my natural hair, um, curly and straight. Even when my hair was shorter, I used to wear this hairstyle. And when my hair was short and straight and I still had a relaxer in it, I wore this hairstyle. And I've worn this hairstyle with a wig, so I will definitely link that video down below for you guys. And I will try to pop up some pictures of me wearing this hairstyle. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, don't forget to like this video, comment in my comment section down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more videos from me. And follow me on all my other social media platforms. I have an Instagram and I have a Snapchat. They're both being Shani. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye. You ain't communication. No need to talk about that. Just call me when you're.